Monday from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest of my newscast I'm willing to tell you about. So you should sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up, I'm Joe. You chilling? All right, let's get started. The most thing that is disturbing me today is, you know, I'm going to talk about racism. I mean, of course, we live in the state of Alabama, which is sometimes has racism here, but the most disturbing thing that is mostly bothering me is police brutality. Remember while I was talking about police brutality on the church on Governor's Drive when two black men are arrested for trespassing and stuff? So I got over that and uh, they were in the wrong for doing it. But this time, I'm really upset about uh, how police officers are hand handling and approaching people the wrong way, such as throwing innocent children on the ground face down first making them bleed and have broken bones and stuff. I mean, what's up with that? I mean, I have seen a video of police officers getting called to a pool party because uh, the black people, I mean, I'm not trying to be racist, but bear with me, the black people are in the Caucasian members only pool in a pool park or something like that. I mean, they're in a recreational pool park and they were having fun and stuff because uh, some parents and guardians just decided to let the children play in it and then unfortunately some of these neighbors don't like the idea so they call police and here's how the police handle the situation and tell me what you think about it. Okay people, this is the scene right here in Ohio. Black people are getting confronted by the officers because they were trespassing at the pool party after they were told to leave, but they refused to leave so of course they are arrested for trespassing. Even the Caucasian bystander is holding that black person against the gate. See that right there? I mean that is not right but still that's trespassing and that's breaking the law. Still, they could have written them a ticket and not used such funds on slamming people to the ground, make them bleed or have broken bones, so could have just written them a ticket. You see? See what I'm talking about? I mean, do you think uh, the invaders are in the wrong or are they in the right? Or they should get a lawyer to figure this out because... To me, it kind of it is kind of disturbing how, on how uh, police officers are handling the situation by throwing people face down instead of uh, approaching them in a kind way, and they're arresting them for trespassing this night. If they were arresting them for trespassing, they shouldn't do violence. I mean, all they have to do is just uh, put them in handcuffs and ride them to jail and give them a fine. I mean, that's it. I mean, don't get too deep with it. I mean. That's not even cool like that. I mean, you don't have to throw children face down like that. So, and another, and a similar thing to this pool party. I mean, another one happened a couple of weeks ago out in Texas. I mean, the good thing about it is uh, that officer who did that um, brutality had to resign, and you know he was on the administrative leave. So, I mean, good for him. But is isn't it even enough? Or you think justice has been served? So, give me your final thoughts. I mean, here's a video about it. Okay, this is the clip that is upsetting to me and other people. Yes, the flashlight. Wow, this officer is pulling this kid to the ground and not even bothering the Caucasian or the white people. I mean, this is crazy. They're only targeting black people. I mean, this is not 1965, this is 2015 for God's sake. Now the critical part of this clip is coming up. See that? You see how this officer is pulling this girl to the ground, almost breaking her arm, and other people around her trying to save her, but no. I mean, what is this officer doing? I mean, trying to arrest her for what? He didn't do anything, for God's sake. I mean, can we just stop this violence? I mean, this is not 1965. 1965. Jeez.
It's a very good thing this officer resigned. Yeah, how'd you like that? You think that's disturbing enough? Well, let's keep going. I mean, of course, of course, br police brutality doesn't happen on black people. It happens on other races. I mean, let me give you the example of what happened here in Alabama. I mean, Madison is next door right to Huntsville. And I'm going to show you uh, what this officer did. And you tell me what you think. Watch this. <laughs> now this video is mostly disturbing. Hi, boy. Two officers approaching a man walking down the sidewalk in this Madison, Alabama neighborhood. Come here. Started out as asking him simple questions. This person only came to America a few days ago, not knowing anything. He barely speaks English. Now, as the video progresses, he tries to walk away from the officers as the officers are trying to figure everything out. The most disturbing part of this video is coming up, so keep watching. Here it comes. So uncalled for. That officer that slammed onto the ground was Eric Parker. And now we're going to watch this again in slow mo. Watch how Officer Parker tries to slam this man down as he tried to arrest him. That's so stupid. You see what happened? I mean, the officer was completely in the wrong. But the good thing about it is, he was arrested, and he is currently facing charges right now. And he was fired too. So, justice has been served. And, of course, that man that had been attacked in the video, he's still in, he's still paralyzed. And his neck, he has a neck brace on right here. So, I mean, good for him. The man that had been paralyzed, because he only came here just to start a good life, and is this the treatment that he gets? No, he don't deserve that. I mean, he deserved to be treated like the rest of us, like in America. You see what I'm saying? I mean, he deserved to be treated just like the rest of us. I mean, nobody is in different from others. I mean, everybody wants to be treated the same, right? I mean, just cut it out. I mean, police officers are here to do their job, but... They don't have to take it too far, or too deep like that. Seriously? I mean, it's already disturbing enough that uh, the people are, that are here to protect us are now hurting us. And now, of course, without the officers, we will all be in danger, right? I mean, if all the officers act like that, who can we turn to? Who can we turn to help? I mean... Even some of the officers around here in Huntsville are just ignorant and just don't want to do their job. I mean, of course, there are break-ins occurred, rapes occurred, uh, killings occurred, homicides, suicides. I mean, you name it. And, of course, the police will spawn and they'll arrest you, but is there even enough to contain all these criminals? Okay, but let's get this. I just want to be safe, and so is the rest of you. You don't want to uh, get killed or hurt, right? I mean, of course, um, sometimes when you get to an argument with a friend or something like that, sometimes you ain't scared to go to jail or, you know, they call the police on you, you don't, you care less. I, only, I feel like that sometimes. I mean, some of you feel like that sometimes. But, I'll tell you this. Um, sometimes, um, you can make a decision that you regret, so just be careful out there, okay? Until next time, I'm Jayog, I'm out, peace.